Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another fun, fast laser project. Friends, today we're going to add a honeycomb bed, so let's get cracking. Of course, let's cut through this and see what it looks like. And if we have any assembly. As you can tell, she comes assembled. We've got little pieces of material that we get to use. These are the pegs that hold things in place. And we've got a protective plate for underneath. Of and of course, it has got a film strip. I will remove that right now. All right, so first things first, we've got end caps that protect you from scratching your device. Of course, it is aluminum, which makes it light, but it is also sturdy. Love that it shows up ready to use, and as you can see, we can also pick between metric or we could use U.S. measurements. I will let you in on a little secret. I put a little bit of hot glue in there so they stay where I want them. You'll notice it fits perfectly on the aluminum plate. Make sure you do peel off that blue material. And now I'm going to add the rubber pads so these stay where I want. Super simple to peel off and stick right on those edges just so it raises it up a little bit and gives it a little bit of stick for your bed to stay on. Now friends, I've been wanting to do this for a while because as you can see, we are marking up my little table I have created every time I'm making a cut. And also because there is airflow, we've got the opportunity to get cleaner cuts with our lasers. This one is 400 by 400, so it'll fit a vast majority of my lasers. And as I mentioned a minute ago, it arrives ready to use. Friends, it also comes with these sweet little clips. They are low profile. They've got little edges that will clip at different heights. As you push them in, you can see they fit in any hole, and it's a really slick system. Today, friends, I'm going to cut with the Flying Bear from Laser Man. Notice I did have to raise that up. Let's get a project set up, and let's give this a test. Let's get the height set for this. Remember, I have started using three pieces of this thin material, then the material I'm going to cut, and then finally our gauge. And if you watch closely, when I loosen this up and let it drop in, I'll tighten it back down. Notice that's pretty snug. Now friends, when we pull out those three layers and just set them aside, this is the level that I really want in there for the cut. This piece of wood's got a little bit of a bad end on it, so I'm gonna move it to that end. And now our height is set appropriately. Friends, as you can see, I have loaded my project to make one of my wicked cool keychains. Now if we check the settings on this, we're going to do six passes at 250 to cut through this bit of wood. We're going to set the fill for 3370. Alright, so let's power on the laser. As you can see, it connected and it is homing. I love this feature, so let's put it back where it belongs. I'm going to move over here to this part so we've got a good view of it on camera. Let's use the move command to do a shift nudge to get it out there and over there. I'm going to go up a couple clicks. That way we're sure we're in the camera's view. I've got this set to go from the middle edge. Let's hit frame and see what this looks like on the laser. Just a tiny bit low. Let's do a control up to move forward. I'm gonna try two clicks. Let's frame it again. That stayed on pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna just adjust it a tiny bit. Let's watch it one more time, making sure we've got everything pretty square. One last frame. Just a tiny twist. Alright friends, with that out of the way, I'm going to grab some safety glasses. Let's hit the start button and make something magical.
friends, this is one of my favorite things here. One of the highlights of the honeycomb bed is less scorching. Check this out. We just cut this one. This was cut the other day without the honeycomb bed. And notice it scorched all the way around. And that's because the airflow on this one allows the smoke and heat to get away. Hence, you don't get scorching. That's pretty awesome friends one other added bonus in the kit you get some aluminum sheets so you can make cool items as well friends there you have it another fun fast laser project of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching and have a great day